Okay, so today I'm here with Urz because I kind of wanted to do a two-parter on my other video. Now, I did kind of the, you know, clickbait Star Wars Galaxy Heroes dying question mark, right, type thing. And I, it got me thinking because one of my points in there was there's a whole lot of anxiety around the fact that yeah. we're all kind of stuck in squathering. And you were saying yourself, Urz, you felt this before. Yeah, the anxiety of, like, so I took the Jedi... Jedi Knight Revan meta off. I refuse to pay for it, and I have never recovered from that. Oh, yeah. And it's like that feeling, like the amount the amount of money you're going to have to spend to recover from that, it's just insane to think about. That's probably the worst meta to have skipped, to be honest, because that one lasted forever. Yeah. And then Malik and all that. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Um, I, w I got thinking about this, and I got thinking, well, there's all this anxiety and stuff around it, right? But then I, I got thinking about, go, is CG actually a secret genius? Because, and I'll throw this up on screen when I edit the video, but in one of their responses, they were talking about how something they want to do for kind of more veteran players is move it away from all being about Squad Arena. Because they said they give out $300,000 worth of crystals every day from Squad Arena alone. And I think me and you covered this together when we read it for the yeah, first time. We were right? live streaming this when right. this came out. Yeah, we, we, we speculated that, well, are they going to distribute this out across PVE game modes? Are they going to distribute this out of Grand Arena? We've seen it come to Grand Arena Championships. I do remember this. Yeah, and I remember thinking, being pretty pessimistic about it the first time it came out. Because I was thinking, oh, they're probably just you know trying to nerf income again or you know stop giving out so many squad arena rewards and then i got thinking about it because i made that video and i was thinking what would it take in this game for me to really start switching how i'm feeling about it and for me the answer was i feel like i need to be able to do more in the game and not just constantly have to worry about my arena team and i thought isn't that kind of what they're saying here? So the question I ask you today is, is, is CG a secret genius and they're trying to fix some of the problems in the game and we've just been pessimistic all along or is that two 900 IQ? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if they're secret genius. There's a lot of just low-hanging fruit that they just absolutely miss on. I mean, even things like we've talked about and you covered it in your Is Swigo Dying video, like running the Game Changer program into the ground, scaring a lot of the content creators off, opening the floodgates for, you know, you see Mar or Marvel Strike Force videos now. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that is not what they want at all. Uh, so are they secret geniuses? I don't know. But I do agree with the notion that in order for this game to have legs for the Extended future. I mean, what are we talking about, Micro? Two to three years? Two years, maybe we got episode nine two and years. then a year after that? E episode nine is going to keep it going for a little bit at least. And then don't forget, we got like a Mandalore coming out. We got the new Clone yeah. Wars season coming out. Uh, then there's like that Resistance TV show, right? So there, there's more stuff to milk if we are going to milk it. Right, right. So why is what I'm saying here, buddy, is that they're going to have a window to get all this done. They're going to have a window of time. I would say between now and and probably like a full year to make all this yeah. happen to distribute the income and you know you have the post pulled up here or you're gonna have it in editing but the three hundred thousand dollar thing that that is i remember you making a point of this when we were on that live stream is that is just such a funny number that they put that out there and they had it how they is had that, that ready right there they were thinking about yep. it you know what i mean so how much is that going to, how much is that $300,000? Because I bet they're looking at that and that's the number they have to distribute out over all these different game modes. And if they can get people to buy in, you're getting a small amount of crystals for raiding. I mean, I just can't imagine having to go, to go raid again. I'm not a raid guy at all. I mean, I've never made one single raid video on my channel. And I, if they're spreading this stuff out, I might have to really care. I may have to do new things now. So it's a good thing in my, in my mind. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. Because you look here like... I'm rank 15 right now, okay? And mm -hmm. I, I did zero, zero squad arena battles today, and I'm probably going to do zero fleet arena battles today. It's not that I don't even like the game anymore. It's just this portion of the game, it, it gets old because there's a need to always do it. And I don't know about you, but like when I was a kid, okay, I probably would have ate veggies if I wasn't told I had to. And that's right. how I feel about squathering. It's like, I'd probably enjoy this game method if it wasn't, <laughs> you know, the force of it all the time, every day. Well, uh, here's the thing, right? It's the same meta teams that you're going against. And it's the same, yeah. you know, you either have the mods or you don't. So, I mean, I imagine it's fun. 
if you get the best, you know, mods on your shard, you just trounce anybody and you don't move all day. Especially right? in this meta, you know, have you noticed yeah. that uh, with the gear 13 and everything with the Darth Rev and the Malak and all this jazz, that speed is even more, I mean, there's people like not leaving the top five ever now. I, I haven't seen that in any other meta. Yeah, it's it, it's funny, man. Just the the, the absurdity of, of speed in mods. Um, I I just put a video out tonight with a Jawa Engineer, and I was preparing a bunch of footage for that video, doing my arena fights, and I went against one of the top guys, top mod guys on my shard, and his he went before my Jawa Engineer went with like droids. <laughs> so I was like, and I got like 120 on my Jawa Engineer, and I'm just like, good gosh, like I don't know, I there, don't know. There's a guy on <laughs> my shard that is approaching the 170. The plus 170 portion yeah. at this time. We had a meetup um, in my community. We had a meetup in, in in Vegas, Canto. And one of the guys, St- Italian Stallion, 171 on his on his red. Oh, head. my Lord. I saw it with my own eyes, man. It, it's, it, 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 it exists. <laughs> it's got to be like 30 <laughs> speed on every mod. I cannot imagine. I, the fastest I got right now is 152. And let me tell you, I've been working for that 152. I'm slicing <laughs> yeah. stuff every day, refreshing the mod store. But I mean, are they are they secret geniuses? I mean, what other evidence do we have here beyond uh, spreading out the income that would uh, lead us to believe that they're geniuses? Because I don't know. I think you had a lot. I watched your your dying video twice because there were so many great points in there, and it's a lot. I know you're we're content creators, so it's we take it a bit more to heart. Uh, but is there anything else? Any other silver linings here that we can kind of say, yeah, maybe there's hope. I'll, okay, I'll play. I'll play devil's advocate with this idea. Um, how about the fact that Grand Arena Championships and Territory Battles would the new Territory Battles anyway would be a good place for them to shift the focus to and move the Crystal Rewards in the future potentially? Like, what if when okay. the Light Side one comes out or something? Yeah, no. So I'm good with that. Let's talk about GAC, right? So okay. Grand Arena Championships. W- what did you think of the matchmaking? Because I know you, we, I complained to you that I was pissed yeah. about the matchmaking. Yeah. Turns out it was actually the best stream I ever had uh, with the opponent that I yeah. was going up against. I so uh, it it worked out really well for me. And I looked, I just I just took a took a quick look. It looks like I'm gonna have some very tough but doable matchups here. Not impossible. I have guys that have faster Revens and Malik's than me, but. I have deeper rosters. So, so far, I'm kind of, maybe they're getting it right. I don't know. What did you look at your GAC I think it's a massive improvement in terms of if you're looking for a healthy competition. Like, if you're the type of person that wants a fair matchup, you know, you don't care about, hey, I deserve to crush people because I did do a good job building my roster. Instead, you're just looking for a good battle, you know? Um, then I think it's a better, I, I think it's significantly better because the people I'm fighting are all about a million g- GP above me. I mean, this guy's 3.6. I'm like 2.65, 2.7 on a good day. And, mm-hmm. uh, but he, you know, I'm probably still going to crush him to be honest because his gear 12s and Zetas are all on things like, you know, bounty hunters, Ewoks, uh, you know what I mean? Like there's not, he doesn't have Darth Revan. There's no Malik. It, it's not really going to be that hard because I have the most recent stuff and he does not. So even though yeah, he's got a million focused. on me, it's you know it's probably still fine. And then it's going to come down to a little bit of efficiency and who has the mods and you know maybe it'll be closer than we think. I don't know. May, I, I, you have to look, keep me updated because I'm excited because I, I I was a total non-believer and then after that last the last exhibition. I, I I was feeling at the end. I was like, okay, this was fun. I mean, I I streamed every Grand Arena, and I've just steamrolled guys before. Yep. And you know, it's kind of fun because we can just do goof around and just do whatever and have fun with it. But does that really make for good content? I don't know. Um, I would. I mean, personally, as a content creator, if I'm going to be selfish about it, I would rather have difficult matchups. I'd rather you yeah. know be the underdog and Push overcome. It than yeah. the other way around because I, i've always crushed basically every grand arena before they were grand arena championships and they weren't even fun i mean i i would win with no mods on i just literally never mod anyone because i swap mods around all the time i just never bother remodding people and still wasn't even close right so now it's i would i actually can lose like i could probably lose if i'm not really paying attention and i'm okay with that so let's 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 talk about uh, TB. Where would they put crystals in TB? Would this be just bolted on to like the Wat Tam Wars type missions? 
It's kind of what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's, what if your guild faux clears both of the new ones, okay, dark side and light side, and unlocks like one special mission or unlocks one extra thing they add into the territory battle that gives you the ability to farm crystals there or something. So, but you guys have to full clear both of them once. Maybe they do efficiency on, on zones. Maybe they do something like oh. the, the, they put the scoring system in individually to incentivize people to really try and, you know, do well in it. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I'm, or they could even, uh, just tack it on to like guild daily rewards. You know what I mean? Just add it right, into just right. doing your 600. You get 100 crystals, but it's 100 crystals less from Squad Arena. I'm fine with that because I'm going to do my dailies anyway. And it helps yeah. the guilds get their tickets. And sure, it's moved away from Squad Arena, but I'm still going to get it. Maybe there's, maybe there's, you know, when you're in a zone and there's like three or four battles, maybe there's a crystal battle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Something like there's that. There's things they could do here, man. I, I they have an opportunity, so just, I think, what yeah. we're saying. They, you know, I, I think you were right when you were saying they have a year. I, I give them a year to really get everything going. And there's a chance for the game really to honestly do well. I mean, if I'm going to be non-biased, I would say in this video, I'm, I am try to be optimistic. I'll say there's a chance. I think it's kind of dying, but I think there's a chance for it really to, to potentially turn it around. Yeah. I would agree, man. Uh, I, and I ho I'm hopeful because, you know, me and you, I mean, you cover Raid and, right. you know, Arnold and Mobile Gamer cover Marvel Strike Force. And I get asked the question each and every day, am I going to cover those games by my community? And I, my heart is with Star Wars and I know you're a huge Star Wars fan too. And it's, it's tough, right? Like, yeah. how much time do you have and how much money? Because these are pay to, they're pay to win games. How much money do you have to invest in these things? And we're content creators, so we can't spread ourselves too thin, right? And as soon as you run short of one of those, be it time or money, you have to supplement it with the other one, you know? And mm -hmm. you can't always do that. And that's kind of when people start falling off the game, I think. Absolutely. Well, guys, I'll tell you what, to end this video, head on over to Urz's channel. Urz has been, let me tell you about my boy Urz here. Not only has he been the <laughs> galaxy's best live streamer in the hall, but he is also now starting to pump out some high quality video content as well. The stuff that he's always been known for. So go check him out. Give him some love. Boy's close to 10K. So let's see if we can try to get him there. All right, guys. And uh, you got any last words or anything, Urz, before we pop out of here? I just want to say this is a guy right here that's talking to you. Uh, Mr. Micro is a gentleman. He's really helped me a lot with my channel. I've watched him skyrocket through the YouTube, pass me up, pass a lot of other content creators. So I've got a lot to learn, and I just want to thank him for his amazing support. Well, well thank you, brother. All right, guys, we're <laughs> out of here. Everyone have a good day now. Bye-bye. <laughs>